So he was like, oh yeah, I know we did more running today than we normally do, and it's kind of tough to have back-to-back, but the season's almost here! We gotta get ready! <laughs> like, shut <laughs> up, it's literally a month away, and I'm yeah, talking. I know. Like, come That's on. That's how it man. pitches, too. It's like, you guys want to be better? Like, we got a real shot at winning a state championship this year, and like, our team is probably the worst it's been in like 10 years. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> When's this season start here? They start here! <laughs> Like, bro, shut up. We're gonna win four games at most. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, Tristan. I really like golfing with Tristan. He's, like, actually pretty good. Um, yeah. But he gets so pissed off only when he putts. <laughs> He like puts and misses it and says like most like <laughs> most like racial slurs thing ever. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I, like that was just wrong. He's like, <laughs> ass bitch. like he just starts uh. screaming like weird <laughs> ass words. Yeah, dude. I I don't know. Golf's. Golf's a, it's a weird thing. So addicting, dude. Like That's I true. literally want to go out and golf right now, and I just finished like two hours ago. See, like I definitely have that option to go out and golf, but uh. You already work there, so you're like. Well, like I worked there, and I was. My plan was to just go golf there afterwards, right? And then I came home, and I was sitting on the chair, and I like started to fall over because I kept almost falling asleep when I was like you know what maybe it's not the best choice for me to be yeah I want to buy a membership but like the thing is I don't even know if 4 Oaks has memberships and like if I were to buy a membership like I would probably rather do it on Crestwood because like 4 Oaks is shitty um I feel like golf has to be like one of the hardest sports to master. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, it's three o'clock already. What time is your work? Oh, four. Hmm. I think I have to pick Jade up too. That's rough. It's the worst day of the week too. Uh, buffet night. It's buffet night and senior night, dude. Mm, that's rough. So it's like a barrage of old people. And, uh... <laughs> it's like, I always work with the same people on Tuesday. Like, Tuesdays and Saturdays are the only days that are set in stone. Like, unless if, like, the person asked for that day off, like, those are the people that always work. And Tuesday is like my least favorite co-workers because like for some reason they don't have a cook like I'm the only cook and then like the boss helps cook which is like awkward because the boss just doesn't really like talk to like oh, me well, I see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh then like this other dude like he's a good dude but he just annoys the shit out of me and like he's the one who's in charge of me when I close and like he's just annoying because like every other cook like I close and they're all like yeah that's really good that's really good but like this dude like I do it and he's like god damn it this is the worst shit I've ever seen you see, like, you see those three crumbs sitting there that's embarrassing no I was talking dude so I was talking to my boss the other day uh, Todd Yeah. it's weird yeah. cause he's not really my boss but he's my boss okay <laughs> Anyways, um, I was talking to him and I was like, because he has this new thing for our nightly crew, it's a sheet that we have to fill out, it's a little checklist of things that we have to do, and I was like, okay, you know, dude, these are already things that we already do, why do we have to have a checklist? And he's like, I just want to make sure that they're getting done, because some nights they don't get done, and stuff like that, and so one of them is vacuum the shop, right? And we always vacuum the shop. And so I was like, so what are we missing? And he was like, you see these little pieces of grass over here? And he goes to the fucking corner of the shop. 
<laughs> and points out. He's, just, he's like, these are not getting vacuumed last night, and that's trouble. And then people will walk in here, see this, and say, man, they are not taking care of their pro shop. What a trashy place. And I was like, are they really? Are they really doing that, Todd? <laughs> like... <laughs> to be fair, like, from the sounds of that guy, as a man who sounds like he takes pride in his job and takes oh, pride in Crestwood. It's, it is, <laughs> it is his job. Like, without him, dude, this... That place went downhill because he got fired um, a while back because uh, um, they thought his son was using the uh, course to sell drugs from. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. And he was like, I'm going to stand by my son. I know he wasn't doing it. And they were like, okay, but we, we can't have you on here if, if there's a chance that he is. You know? <clears throat> yeah. And, and they so, brought him back. Well, they had a they had a new pro out there because he's the he's the pro out there. Mm -hmm. So they had a new pro, and he comes out there and he is like a pedophile, oh, fucking God. weirdo. He wasn't. He, he, here's why he got fired. He um was so like they used to have employee days out there, and. Sorry, I had to it up. So they used to have plays days out there, and he goes and plays a round with one of my coworkers, Jeremy, and he gets absolutely fucking drunk. He had like Jeremy said he had like a couple beers a hole. Oh god. And then he bought him shots at like the clubhouse. Yeah. So he goes home drunk, crashes into um the people next door's yard and then sleeps in the cart shed oh my god and that's why he got fired jesus and they're like we need todd <laughs> well yeah and then he got fired and it was also the weirdest thing because like i was friends with a couple girls out there right and like he would literally just go out there and watch him hit at the driving range oh, like it was it was the weirdest thing ever Damn. And I don't know. He was just not good for it. So then he got fired, and then for like a couple weeks, it was just college kids running it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they didn't have anyone. And yeah, and that never goes well. <laughs> just college kids. What are you opening fire on? Okay. We were kind of curious, like, we wondered if someone had, like, turned us in at Four Oaks. We didn't, probably not, but, like, because we did not drive in front of the clubhouse. Like, we were a decent ways away from the clubhouse. But we did go, like, across, like, a lot of people. I love Coach Smith so much. He's the slow, like he's a god at golfing, but he's the slowest human alive. I mean, I know it's because he's like older, but it's really funny. He was just had his little cartwheel. He didn't pay for a cart. He was just walking along, having a good time. Amigos, let's go here. Oh, what? How do you knock, man? Damn it. It's already 315. Night shift or anything like that. It's like all day, you're just like mm, four hours till work. You're just looking at I the know. time. So, like, three hours till work. Is where I'd love to have it shit in the morning where I wake up, get it over with, and then the rest of my day. I can conquer. Get in the ring. <laughs> yeah, dude. I much rather have 
the morning shift, but I always get scheduled for the night shift. <laughs> like, never fail. I feel like I just kind of get raw dogged with like the worst schedules since I'm like the new person. Like I would appreciate. I really like that your boss like made the list of all the things that need to get done. Because like for me, they just told me on the first night, and I'm like expected to remember. And sometimes I'm like really afraid because like on closing stuff, there's so much that cooks have to do. Like they have to turn off all the lights, they have to like turn off the ovens and stuff. Like stuff that would be very bad if I forgot to do it. Yeah. And I'm just afraid that like I'll forget to turn off the ovens one night and like blow up Mazios. <laughs> just blow up Mazios. I think I would low key, like if waiters got paid minimum wage and not like two dollars, I would want to be a waiter. Because like if... waiters at Mazios are seem so easy to be honest. Dude, if I got paid more than minimum wage, my life would be set. True. <laughs> like, I mean, that's probably really for most people. Waiter, I've yeah. noticed all you really have to do as a waiter is, like, when you hear the phone ring, you answer the phone, and then they tell you what you want, and you literally, like, if there's a big old like, computer, and you just touch the screen, it's like, in three categories, like, a bunch of categories, like, they want a calzone, you press the calzone button. It's like they want a pepperoni calzone. You press pepperoni calzone, and then that goes on the ticket. And you do that until they're done, and then it comes out as like a perfect ticket that you don't have to do anything on. And then you just give that to the cooks, and you're done for that. And then like if someone comes in, you just gotta tell them they can sit wherever they want, and you bring in menus and shit. And on buffet nights, you don't really have to do anything because then people will just come and eat the buffet, and you don't serve. Them. Like, I'm not saying it would be completely easy because, like, I know, people suck. You yeah. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, it's like, but more money. <laughs> yeah. But it, all, it also says because food is not the thing people like to be messed with at all. Like, yeah. it has to be perfect all the time or else people really flip out. My most hated thing is if you're a cook, like, people do, like, they just see an employee and they ask them to go. And like, so like I'll be cleaning the front, and then this dude comes up to me. He's like, "Oh, can I get two uh, cups to go?" I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about this situation? So then I have to track down a waitress who's like in the back and tell her that this dude wants two cups. I'm like that happens way too often. Yeah, I. <laughs> And uh, I don't know. The only thing I'm kind of peed about my job right now is, and it's not even oh that. It's not even that big of a deal. It's just like <laughs> the man has entered. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, uh, it's just the hours. Like I'd like just a few more hours. Yeah. That's it. To be fair with me, it's like, I would like more hours, but at the same time, I'm not going to complain because only having to work three days a week is nice. And I feel like I would kind of go crazy and like not really like my life if I had to work all the time. But I've noticed that like, I thought like, oh, I'm going to need all this money for shit. But I've kind of noticed that like, I don't need that much money for the stuff I do in like, my life. Yeah.